Hey guys, it's Game World here, and I am here on Minecraft 14W02A to kick off the first snapshot for Minecraft 1.8. So there's a lot of new cool stuff in here, which I'm really excited about, and I'm sure you guys will be too. So anyway, we're going to kick this off straight away with this. So it's pretty transparent. I think that's the right word. But it's, yeah, it's, it's used with slime balls, and it is called a slime block, I think. Let's have a look. Yep, a slime block. So, it's just nine slime balls in a craft like that will get you a slime block. And you're probably just thinking, oh, okay, it's just another way to store your slime until you want it, which I don't know why you'd want it, but no, it's not. So, as you can see here, I have a nice little set of slime blocks, and if we fly up, boom, we have a trampoline. See, look at that. So it's slowly like, depending on how high you fall, depends on how high you'll bounce back up. And it'll always be a little bit less, and then eventually you will end up still. Um, so this is really cool. I'm not a million percent sure whether you take damage. I don't think you do when you use this, which is great. So say you've got like a house up in a tree, you're quick away to get down. Just jump onto these, and voila. So yeah, this is really cool anyway. You do walk very slowly on it, um, as if it was soul sand and stuff like that. But it is very, very, very cool. Okay, so anyway, we're going to move on to probably the most exciting thing, and these are three new stone types which are found randomly when mining, don't know why I just did that, in Minecraft. So, to start with here, we can see granite, this is just normal granite, and this is polished granite. Um, so, all of these are po made polished exactly the same way, and it's just all four of them next to one another in the craft, which I'll actually show you just in case and if some of you guys don't understand these. This anyway, if you don't, is just pretty much what the crafting table looks like and that is the outcome. So for this it is just we need say four of these and we'll get a polished diorite. And then if you did it with a granite you get polished granite, etc etc. So that's really cool and very exciting. So here we go anyway, here's the diorite which is a white colour and then polished is the same and then here's like kind of a grey gravelly looking stuff which is and andesite I think um, but yeah so these are really cool and I'm pretty excited for this hopefully there will, there will then be new weapons which will be granite um, diorite and an andesite which are all ites but it's very cool and I, I really actually do hope there's some new weapons it will make it a bit more exciting and kind of a bit more complex um, yeah I'm pretty excited for this and it's really quite cool okay so there's a been a couple of tweaks with enchanting which is really quite cool um, so see, here we go I have my diamond sword if we put it in the enchanting table then here we go it will show you the normal kind of chart to enchant your weapons and as you can see if we raise over it it will now tell you the first enchantments here we go it's got knockback one sharpness one so if I bought this it will definitely have sharpness one but as you can see dot 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 it will have something else um, some of them also now would like lapis as a kind of purchase so when you get higher up you may have to start also using lapis as kind of a, an exchange to get your enchanted weapon so as you can see here that literally just had not back one however it could have had other things say it was level 30 enchantment um, then we would probably have seen several other enchantments on it but you'd still see the first one so it's really quite cool if it's something you're desperately looking for then you can pr maybe kind of scout it out now before you just go through enchanting loads of weapons which is really quite cool Okay, so next of all we have Mossy Stone Bricks now have an enchantment, not an enchantment, a craft, which is very cool, um, just because if you ever want to build like a castle out of m and have mossy, cob uh, mossy Stone Bricks, then now you can do it. It's easy as it is just stone bricks and vines. If you don't know what stone, how to make stone bricks, it is just a f in the crafting table, you have four in these blocks, which are um, just stone, not cobblestone it must be stone then you get the stone bricks so then you just need to go get a vine um, and poof you've got a uh, mossy stone bricks okay so the next thing I'm going to show you is there's been changes with villagers so they're kind of more complex sort of thing now um, so as you can see if I right click on it it is a cleric and it, its trades are relevant to its title so a cleric would generally have these items so rotten flesh for emeralds and then gold for emeralds and I think we've got another cleric here as well which is exactly the same 
Um, so that's pretty interesting. And then here we have a Fletcher, which as you can see, string for bows, and also you can buy arrows. So this is really cool. Um, just making them a bit more complex is quite interesting. Um, and kind of make it a bit more... You can kind of know if you're going to trade with somebody what you can get. It just makes it a lot more easier rather than running around looking for loads of different things. One more exciting little thing is doors now can stack, which is great. So both wooden and iron doors can stack up to the maximum of 64, which is cool. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it so far. Um, obviously because the uh, snapshot has only been out for about an hour, not everything I have here, nor have I noted everything. So I will be doing another video in the maybe a day or in the next 10 hours which will be explaining things in more detail as well as well as showing any newer things which have been which have been found um, so also stay tuned for that and also obviously I will do tutorials on all these things um, and do eat talk through each new item in detail so thank you very much for watching this guys I hope you found this useful in some way if you're interested in any of these other videos which will be coming out soon then please hit that subscribe button comment and like tell me what you think and I'll see you guys next time bye